Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this second sample problem from the distributed loads topic. So in this problem again it is said that determine the reactions at the support A of the loaded cantilever B. Right? So we are given this uh, distributed load over the length of this B. Right? The intensity of this distributed load is given as a function of x. Right? So this omega is equal to omega naught plus k x cube. Right? So we have to find the reaction at the support, right? So first, in this kind of problem, what we need to do is that we need to replace this distributed load uh, as a concentrated load. We have to find the equivalent of this distributed load, right? So then how to do it? So then for that, what we will do is that uh, we will apply the principle of moment equation, right? The, all these distributed load problems are the extension of the application of the centroids, right? So here it is uh, said that the student should recognize that the calculation of R and its location x bar is simply an application of centroids, right? So if you people know how to determine the centroids of mm -hmm. the given area, so then you people will be able to solve such kind of problems very easily. So in order to find the equivalent uh, resultant of this distributed load, we can apply uh, this equation, right? So I can write that. Let's say that the resultant will be equal to uh, dr. And what is this dr, right? So what we will do is that we will select a differential distributed load, right? So let's say that this area is my differential dr, right? So what will be the area of this rectangle, right? So the area of this rectangle is this uh, height. So the height is omega, right? And times this dx, this is dx. The width is dx, right? And here we have that origin, right? This is our origin, right? So along this direction that is in the towards the right, this is our positive x direction, and this is towards the y. Uh, this is the load distribution. This is w as a function of x, omega as a function of x, right? So this is our positive x direction. So this means that the width, the width of this dr, this differential distributed load is dx, right? So then we can say that this dr will be equal to this omega times dx, right? The area of this uh, rectangle. So then in order to determine this, the resultant equivalent of this distributed load, what we will do is that we will add up all the differential concentrated loads, right, from 0 to 8 meters, right, this is from 0 to 8. So this means that this integration means that this is the area under this curve, right. So then we are given this omega as a function of x, right, we are given this. So omega is equal to omega naught plus kx cubed. So omega naught is the value of omega at x equals to 0, right? So we are given two boundary conditions. At x is equal to 0, omega is equal to 1000 newton per meter, right? So I can say that at x is equal to 0, omega is equal to 1000 newton per meter. And we can, u we can use this equation, right? So I can write that omega naught plus kx cube is equal to omega. We can write this equation like this as well, right? So now when x is equal to 0, omega is equal to 1000. So if I substitute these values in this equation, so then omega naught plus k into 0 to the power 3 will be equal to 1000, right? So this will become 0. So this means that omega naught is equal to 1000 newton per meter, right? And similarly, another boundary condition is that when x is equal to 8, at x is equal to 8 meters, the omega value is 2024, right? So I can write that omega is 2024 newton per meter. We can substitute both of these values in this equation. So then this equation will give us this k constant value, right? So I can write that omega naught plus kx cube is equal to omega. So from this equation, we can say that x is equal to omega minus omega naught divided by x cube. Right, so this will be we can write this is k and omega value here is at x is equal to 8, that value is 2024. 
2024 minus omega naught which is 1000 right so I will write 1000 divided by 8 to the power 3 right so this is 2024 minus 1000 divided by 8 to the power 3 so this is 2 so k value is 2 and now what are the units of this k right so from this we can say that this omega minus omega naught the units of this is Newton per meter and the units of this is meter cube right so when we simplify this so this will be Newton per meter to the power 4 right so this is n divided by meter to the power 4 so these are the units of this cube and the units of omega naught are 1000 Newton per meter so now we can write this equation in terms of this constant right so now we can say that omega as a function of x is equal to omega naught which is 1000 plus k value is 2 x cube so now this is omega as a function of x right so now we can write it here right so this will be from 0 to 8 this is 1000 omega is 1000 plus 2 x cube and this is dx right so now we can find this r right so this r will be equal to so we can integrate this so this will be 1000 x plus 2 x to the power 4 divided by 4 and 2 divided by 4 is 1 divided by 2 right so this is 1 divided by 2 and this is from 0 to 8 right now we can put these limits so this will be 1000 times 8 plus 8 to the power 4 divided by 2 so 1000 times 8 plus 8 to the power 4 divided by 2 so this is 10,040 years so we can say that approximately this is equal to 10,050 newton right so this is 10,000 and 50 newton so the equivalent resultant of this distributed load is 10,050 newtons. Now the second step in such kind of problem is that we need to determine the distance of this resultant from either end, right? So we have to find the distance of this resultant from this point A or from this point B, right? So for that what we will do is that again we will apply the application of the centroids, right? So we will apply the centroids formula, right? So then we can write that uh, let's say that this x bar is the centroid of this distributed load area right so this is x bar into the resultant equivalent of this distributed load and this will be equal to and again this r is the area under this curve right so we are using that same centroid formula right so this will be equal to x c d r what is xc again xc is the distance of the centroid of this dr this differential distributed load from this point from this origin so this is xc so this xc is equal to x right so this differential force is located at a distance of x so we can say that xc is equal to r xc is equal to x right so this xc is equal to x and we know that dr is equal to omega dx right so i can write I can replace this dr by omega dx, right? And again, since the integration is with respect to x, so we have to integrate this from 0 to 8 meters, right? So again, we can write it as, we can write this as x, and omega is this function, 1000 plus 2x cube into dx. So if I multiply this thousand inside, so this will uh, this x inside, so this will be thousand x, and this will be x to the power four. So now we have this equation. This is from zero to eight. So now we can integrate this. So this is x bar into the resultant equivalent, and this is thousand x squared divided by two. So 1000 divided by 2 is 500 plus 2x to the power 5 divided by 5 and this is from 0 to 8. So this is x bar the centroid of this differential force. So 
this into r and we can put these values right so 500 into 8 to the power 2 plus 2 into 8 to the power 5 divided by 5 so this gives us 45,107.2 so we can say that this is approximately 45,100 right let's say this is 45,100 and what will be the units of this right so as we can see that this is in newtons right this r is in newtons and this is meter so newton meter so this is the moment remember and again you people need to remember that this is the principle of moment equation right so this will give us that moment so this is newton meter right so now this x bar will be equal to this 45,100 divided by the r and this is r so r is 10,050 so this is uh, 45,100 divided by 10,000 So this gives us x bar equals to 4.49. So x bar equals to 4.49 meters. The units of this is newton meters and this is meters. So meter will cancel out. So we will be left with, uh, sorry, this is newton, right? So newton will cancel out. So we will be left with meters. So this is the uh, location of the resultant from that origin. Now, once we know this uh, x bar, the location of this r from this origin, so then we can draw the free body diagram, right? So, this is the free body diagram of this given thing, right? So, the r 10,050 newton force is acting at a distance of 4.49 from this uh, point A, right? So, if we have this resultant force which is rotating this beam in the clockwise direction, which is producing the moment in the clockwise direction, right? So here at this point A, uh, this structure will support that uh, moment, right, in the counterclockwise direction. So this is that moment at A, right. And here we will have two reactions AX and AY. So now we will find this AX, AY, and MA, right. So in order to find uh, this MA, we need to apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0. So I can say that summation of moment about point A equals to 0. So as we can see that this support moment is acting in the counterclockwise direction so i can write this is m a and this r is producing the moment in the clockwise direction right so this will be i can write this is minus 10050 into 4.49 so this will be equal to zero or we can say that m a will be equal to the moment produced by this equivalent resultant right so this is uh, 10,050 into 4.49. So this is approximately equal to 4,500, right? So let's say that this is M A is equal to 4,500 newton meter, right? Since this is the this 10,015 to 4.49 is the moment produced by this R, right? So then this equation gives us the moment of that resultant R, right? So this moment will be equal to 4,500, right? So this is 4,500 Newton meter. And similarly, uh, we apply the summation of forces along Y equals to zero. So as we can see that this AY is acting in the positive y direction so a y minus r this r is acting in the negative y direction so which is 10,050 equals to 0 so from this a y equals to 10,050 newton i am doing these approximations according to the book right so the, the book has written that this m a is equal to 45,100 right and if we consider these actual values, then this moment is 45,124.5. But the book, is, the book is approximating these uh, answers, right? So this, according to the book, this MA is 4,500, right? And this R is 10,050, right? 
Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, so then we can see that only uh, x is acting in the positive x direction. So this means that this uh, x is equal to 0. Right? So these are the support reactions at point A and this is the solution of this particular problem.